more later. Two things. I'm hearing more gunshots. On both sides of the Arroyo. I don't know how big a concern it is really, but the thought of being peppered by a bunch of shot, you know, from the heavens is a little disconcerting. Second thing, my favorite seabird uh, is the pelican. I don't know how it's such a dorky looking bird can look so graceful. I saw one pass in front of me, and it, it dipped its right wing so that its leading um, feathers at the farthest tip of its right wing just barely grazed the surface of the water. You know, just, just barely, just a little bit. You know, that's got to be done for fun. Now, why, why would a bird do that? Just, I mean, he did it just for the hell of it. Because he could. And hell, that's what I'd do. That was really... That was really neat. Hell, that was worth coming out here just to see that. Um, oh, I guess three things. I decided to come over here to the north side of the Arroyo. Because... have a large amount of water between you and where the wind's coming from. Uh, that's called a fetch. When the fetch is really large, and you've got a big amount of wind, the waves are going to be bigger than if uh, you're on the other side of the fetch. Uh, you know, where the, see, the waves here are a lot smaller than they were on the other side. translates to uh, less resistance, so I don't have to paddle as hard, pedal as hard to uh, make the same amount of headway. At least that's the theory. I'm getting closer to the buoys. And the lens on this camera is, you know, just barely the, above that of a camera phone, but in, in the distance there, there are some buoys. And uh, I figure that's more or less the halfway point. I really don't know. I just, I use that as a gauge. how the water's piling up on one side and kind of uh, being diverted around the buoy. So I'm going with the outgoing tide, I guess. The Roy is not a river, it's just like a, it's a navigation canal. So the tide comes in, the current goes west. The tide goes out. It, uh, see that? The tide goes out. It uh, goes east. Ebb and flow. I don't know if you can hear that, but a lot of gunshots to my right, which is to the south. hope that they don't aim in my general direction. And the chances of being hit are slim to none, but still. I'm out on the lagoon.
Laguna now. I just uh, left the mouth of the arroyo. I'm headed north. So the, the lens of this uh, camera is kind of hard to make out, I guess, but way over there <laughs> is uh, Green Island. That's where I'm headed. Uh, I've gone there many, many times. It's about two miles or so from where I am now. I'm actually going to a spot about a mile north of the island, so I actually got about three miles to go. And, you know, this is my favorite time of year to come out here because there's a lot fewer people out here. I mean, it's not that I don't like people, it's just uh, fewer boats on the water, it's less noise. And, my chances of catching fish or not. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, since the wind's coming out of the north, or at least I'm going right into the wind. I see all the little waves coming towards me. As counterintuitive as it may seem, it's actually easier to paddle or pedal directly into the wind rather than uh, if the wind's coming at you kind of sideways. I don't know if you noticed, but I just went into a bunch of seaweed. Uh, that's not good, because seaweed will gum up the work. It also collects on the rudder back there. going. Uh, see if I can kind of shake loose. Uh, uh, right. I've only been passed by, I don't know, a handful of boats, three or four boats. Not very many at all. Imagine it's, well, I mean, I've been on a motorboat when it's been chilly. And you're going 30 miles an hour in the open out here in uh, 45 degrees. It, <laughs> it gets really cold. It feels a lot colder than it is. I just listened to a weather report and according to the robot that was reading the weather report, uh, it's only 10 miles an hour out here. To that I say bullshit. It's, <laughs> it's a lot this is a lot uh, stronger than 10 miles an hour. It's more like 15. Sustained. Uh, just either, you know, I don't care. As long as it's not raining. Even if it is raining, I don't care. You know, I'm dressed for it. What do I care if it rains? Six inches, maybe. 